Hello everybody! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to this early access video of Forklift Simulator. This game is coming out on the 29th of August, so you haven't got long to wait guys, you haven't got long to wait. But I'm very grateful to the game makers, thank you so much for giving me an early access key. I'm excited guys! Now, I haven't gone into the game, so you're getting the same reaction as, I. you know, this is live. This is live reaction here. So, <clears throat> we're going to do this together. We're going to have some fun, and uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so, we need to set our name, so we can definitely do that. Okay, caps. This is some gamer. How much can we do? Okay, that's good. Character, female. Uh, would you like to see tutorial? Yes. Welcome to the training centre, the driving school for aspiring forklift drivers. I thought I picked female. I've got some um, sexy uh, beard hair going on there. If you want to work with a forklift, you need a driver's license. Well, you can get it here. You can change the camera view with C. Ah, is this me? You can walk with uh, W, A, D, and S, and D, and run with shift. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Right, now move closer to the electric pallet truck. Stand on the electric pallet truck, okay. In front of you is a practice track, the entrance of the area of which is marked. You can toggle markers on and off with B, okay. Well, that's cool. Now turn it back on. Now move the electric pallet truck with R, T, and L, and move to the marker. Okay. Inside the practice track, there is a pallet with cargo. There is a marker in front of it. Now move to the electric pallet truck to this marker in front of the pallet with cargo. The countdown starts now. Oh gosh, we're on a countdown. <gasps> Oof. Oh no, it's a counting up. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Whoa. It swings its ass, guys. It swings on the ass. Okay. <gasps> I have a feeling I'm going to have a few crashes. I'm going to need a crash counter, definitely, for this game. Move the fork under the pallet, then lift with the up button on the D-pad. Okay. Yeah, I got this, I got this. How accurate is it? How accurate is it? We're about to find out. Or does it want us, it doesn't want us to go the other side, does it? Well, that's pretty decent. Now transport the cargo with the electric pack. Blah, 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 blah. Drive within the practice track. Marker at the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Gonna brag before I get out of the lines. <laughs> okay. All right. We're coming. Oof. Whoa! I need to remember this one swings. It's butt. So I kind of need to go into the corners and swing around. Yeah. Woohoo! Now move the cargo and put it to the. Yeah, I got you, boo. Whoa. 
Let's pop it to the ground. Pull ourselves out. Yeah! Excellent. Now drive the pallet truck back to the marked parking spot. Hmm. That's easier said than done. There we go. Just need to remember. It's all in the butt. Now you're going to learn how to handle a forklift. Move to the forklift. Is in me. Let's do this. Okay, so what's run? Oh, okay. R1. Get close to the forklift and enter. Oh, get close to it. Okay. You can also use the forklift to move the cargo sideways and then lift it by releasing the handbrake. Okay. Now drive along the indicated route and load the cargo into the truck. Now drive to the marked area of the practice track. Okay. This time we're going into the truck though. At the end of the practice track is a pallet with cargo and you have parked there with the electric pallet truck. There is a marker in front of it. Now move the forklift into this marker in the front of the pallet with the cargo. The countdown starts now. It's, that, it's counting up rather than down, just want to say. sound effects <laughs> Oh am I stuck Uh -oh. oh, it was all going so well. Okay, so we have a little bit of a game play. Let's. This is beta. So it will be. Oh, goodness. I don't want to do this all again. Am I seriously going to have to do this all over again? I'll do it without you guys. I'll be right back. Yo, everybody. I brought you back. Okay, maybe it was actually just me. Maybe I wasn't following instructions properly. Very good. Now lower the fork again with... Just put it straight first. I think I wasn't following instructions, guys. I think that was all it was. But I got extra practice in. Uh, now, you, uh, now you know how to use the fork of the forklift. Now use your knowledge and transport the pallet with cargo to the marked area. All right. Let's get this to the floor. Are we in the middle? Yeah. Are we to the ground? Yeah. I want to say it handles really well. Mm. 
Wonderful. Now drive the forklift back to the parking area. Sweet. Am I not in it? Do you need to be perfectly in? I appreciate perfection. Watch the next person. Get out of the forklift and walk to the mock area. Oh, we're gonna go talk to the guy. The bearded guy. Now you have to take a small test with questions. Okay. Here are a few hints. Now you know how to operate an electric pallet truck and a forklift. They are machines for transporting cargo. Keep in mind that the electric pallet truck must not be used on slopes. Forklifts and electric pallet trucks must not be used if, if they're defective. The electric power tr pallet truck bleh, 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 is an electric vehicle and therefore contact with water must be avoided at all cost. Loaded forklifts are only allowed to drive down slopes backwards so that the load always points to the highest point. You should only move a forklift when the load is close to the ground because if the load has been raised it causes instability and can lead to serious accidents. Once you've completed the test with the questions, you are ready to start your work. Good luck. Okay, guys, Mr. Sim Gamer Jobs. Uh, what do you do? Sorry, what do you do if you come to a slope whilst working with an electric pallet truck? You're not supposed to do anything, you're not supposed to use it. Uh, do not move on a slope because electric pallet trucks may only be used on flat surfaces. What is the main function of the electric pallet truck? Uh, transportation of cargo. What tools do you use to extinguish an electric power trucks? Oh, well, it's got to be dry powder. Um, a worker notices a fault with an electric pallet truck. What should he do? Uh, dismantle and replace the parts yourself. No, do not use it. <laughs> How do you behave with a loaded forklift on a slope? You drive backwards. What height should the load be when driving a forklift? I didn't listen to this bit. Uh, I think it's close to the ground. Yeah. Woo! You did an excellent job. Here's your driver's license. Woohoo! Mm. Sorry, sweet coffee. You can access an overview with controls with the F2 tab, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be okay, buddy. Um, and the only issue is I don't want to open the control menu because my F2 is something is set to something else on my. That's a bit of a problem. So maybe view controls. Hopefully that will open and close the control menu. There we go. Okay. Now close the overview of the controls again. Good luck. As a forklift driver, by the way, you can always come here to practice. Cheers, dude. Congratulations. You've unlocked a new level. You now work at the following company walker miller inc select the new and unlock icon in the menu to work in the following company okay so in the menu well it's down here isn't it 
Let's just have a look at this though. So that's the training center, credits, options, forklifts, exit, and save. Let's press save. Oh, that's cool. Hours of play, distance traveled. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, like that. All right, let's click here then. Uh, we have a lot of work to do here. And in order to be able to coordinate the orders better, we need to use a tablet. Okay. I shouldn't have been using my... There we go. Office boy. Very good. We already have an order available. Select and accept it with confirm. Okay. Here you can see the destination and the uh, and the condition of the cargo. Use confirm to accept the order and return to the menu. Okay, so oh, but now accept the order with confirm. Yes, I get it. Transport a cargo RM4 to the following position in the office. Okay. Whoa. Welcome to your first day at Walker Miller. Thanks, dude. Nice moustache. I'm your supervisor. Uh, sorry, I'm your superior, even. Superior. Here at the company. Your work starts right now. The ladies in the office need printer paper. And therefore, pick on me. Okay. Right. Okay, so office is site office is here. So let's open the door. Okay, so let's find a pallet fork. Better be in this position. Oh, is it just that? Oh, I can do that. Is my superior just going to stand there with his moustache staring at me the entire time? Because that's just going to be creepy. Okay, how do I put it down then? Oh, yep. <laughs> okay, so you get paid by job by the looks of it. Now the order is complete, use to open the tablet, okay. Okay, now close the tablet. Whenever a new order uh, becomes available, you receive this notice. Now open the tablet. By the way, you can also use the tablet to view the integrity of each cargo in the company. Do you see the cargo? Okay, so RB and... Okay, that's good. Close. Right, um, that one's done. That's active, that's new. Right, electric power truck. So RM1 to TRK2. Okay. So if I... If I didn't actually confirm the job. So does it just confirm it for me then? So that's it there. Where's the pallet fork? Mm -mm -mm. Where are you, pallet fork? Am I going blind? Where are you, pallet fork? That's field storage. OK. 
Okay. Um, maybe out here? <laughs> I've not got a clue where the pallet fork is. Am I going mad? Oh, the cargo. Well, now just look at the cargo. Okay. Excellent. Now you can continue working. Your working hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The tablet opens at the end of the day. Let's see what you've earned. You will then be taken to the main menu, and when you go back to your current company, a new working day begins. Orders that have time limits will fail. Okay. Oh, okay. It wants me to do that one specifically first. Great. Now that the ladies have their printer paper, I finally have my piece. Since you know how to operate an electric pallet truck, the next task is already waiting for you. Place the marked pallet in loading area number two. Aha! There's our... There's our puppy! Yes. Yes, Mr. Moustache, we don't just know how to... Uh, we don't just know how to lift boxes from A to B. We can use a pallet book. But... I'm taking something. What am I, which one? Aha! Uh -huh. The one highlighted in blue, do we think? Alright, let's swing this butt around. It is extremely accurate. You can't misjudge this at all. Okay, right. What is going on? Right, that's for some reason not working. Let me try and grab it from this way. Aha, yeah, it wants to be grabbed from this way. So that you can see, you can see that side is actually closed off. There we go. Alright, let's move the bum around. Mission completed. Very good. Keep it up. Oh, Mustache Man was happy. Sounded like we've just got a new job. The clumsy one. Transport cargo RM2 to the following position PR1. You're doing well. 
And if you keep going like this, your job here will definitely be saved. Unfortunately, the night shift messed up a lot here. Just look at the chaos. Arrange everything on the pallet and then move it to the marked unloading area. In the unloading area, we store damaged goods. Please be careful not to damage any goods, otherwise you won't be able to stay here for long. Okay. So they messed up here. So pick up. Oh, it looks like they were just being ultra lazy. They could have done that themselves. And they don't look that damaged. Okay. Is that my job done? Oh, no, I've just got to transport it now. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Wee. Ooh, it's just slightly off, but I wonder if it'll be all right with it being there. Or does it need to be perfect? Oh no, that was okay. Very good, keep it up. Uh, the customer is always in a hurry. Transport cargo RM3 to the following position, TRK3. We have already, uh, we have a great delivery. Transport the marked pallets to the loading area three. We're in a hurry because the customer needs the goods urgently. Okie dokie. We are good within a hurry, aren't we guys? Let's do this. You did not want to be picked up there, or why? Because it wants the first one done first? Mm, maybe? I like all the tape and the stickers all Camilla all over them. I really like the detail. RM3, we got this booze. You gonna let me poke my little pallet in there? You gonna poke my fork? Come on. No, it's not letting me. Am I going crazy? Oh, there we go. Right, let's turn the butt around. Let's get on to Whoa, swinging. Let's go to the left first, I think. It changes for us. View. Is that one done? Yep, I think so. No? Is it not happy with that? Not 
show. <laughs> That's too fun. All the machinery handles so well. Graphics are good. No complaints so far. All right, let's go to the, this side, actually, I think. And one more. Let's do this. I don't now want to have a go at these in real life. When I was uh, 15, I worked in a garden centre. They never let us operate these. And I don't think they were as swanky then. That was 20 years ago. Oh, how is it 20 years since I worked there? I am 35 but I am just a child I'm sorry look look at the detail on this packaging just for a second it's really good really really good that was good but maybe oh that wasn't good what Hmm. Okay, new equipment. Let's go to that then. Transport cargo RM6 to the following position ST1A1. What a beautiful new day. Oh, what? A new day? I thought we were still on the same day. Take a look at what we've acquired. Oh, he's just. Metaphorically speaking, yes, this beauty can carry more than a ton, if I'm not mistaken. And since you also know how to operate something like this, let's not waste any time. Get behind the wheel and get to work. All right. Oh, it looks like he's got the exact same one as in training, so that's handy. Okay, so we are looking for RM6. Um, mm -mm -mm, B. Ah, it's over there. Woohoo! That all the way down? Gonna let me take it from this position. Oh, 
Why? I've got to go all the way around, have I? Crazy. Transport a cargo RM6 to the following spot. That is RM6, right? Oh, does it? Read the instructions, Mrs. SG. He wants us to move this one first. This is tight. I suppose that's the whole point, isn't it? Ooh. I think I'm going to have to go this way. So I've got some swinging space. There we go. This really is testing a person's patience. A person's patience, this. Alright, I just need a little bit of swing space. Nice, okay. Uh, so where's the spot they want it? STA1. I don't know what STA1 is. Is it going to be one of these? ST... That's three. That's four. One is going to be this way. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. And those are in the way as well, so I'm going to have to move them out of the way. Are you serious? I like the dragging hawk sound. That's pretty good. That was decent. Right. I need to line up better.
Sorry, I had to concentrate there. So we got another $40. Not too bad. That was probably nothing. And I'm really starting to worry about you. What? I hope you have what it takes to work at our company. What? I thought I did all right. Did I just take too long? Transport cargo ST5 to TRK3. Okay, so ST5 is going to be round here. ST1, 3, 4. This is 5. So we've got two pallets. I'm going to be in so much trouble for that. <laughs> yeah, that stash man is not going to be happy. I don't actually know what happened there. I must have caught it on the door. See, I got in my head about me not being quick enough. The stash man's playing with my head. So mad. that upside down one into space <laughs> I didn't get into trouble for that well 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 that was handy at least I've got 45 minutes left of my shift guys mission 2 RM5 to truck 3 okay RM5 Uh, da 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 da, RM6, RM4, RM5. I'm just going to put this up so I can negotiate. that one with my butt. I'm not sure if I was supposed to put that back into RM6. Truck We've got 15 minutes left of our shift. Do we get this done or is it going to cancel on us? Grumpy Mustache Man's going to moan if we have to 
do it over time. Do this. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I really should slow down on those bits. This is where <laughs> this is where things happen. Oh, look at that! Just in time. Bang on five p.m. Yes. So we got 240. That's not too bad. Base salary, 2,400. Wow. Well, that, was, that was entertaining. I would love, love, love to get your thoughts on the game. Graphics, great for, for a game like this. It's got a storyline. I'll play through the next workday in another episode so that you get to see a little bit more. But so far, so good. I I really enjoyed it. And it's exactly what it says on the tin. You are working with a forklift, working in a warehouse. Um, so, yeah, let's see where, what the next episode brings. Do let me know what you think below. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know what to do, guys. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on Forklift Simulator with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.